Welcome back, folks. Thanks for watching. And tonight, what we're looking at is a, the opposite of what we looked at last week. Last week, we were watching double bottoms, basically the point where we find previous buyers and where we meet the same point on the downside. We want to look at the mirror image of that which is the double top so basically we have buyers all the way to a certain point it turns down and then buyers show up to the same level but without crossing it and then it gets turned down now we had um many tickers doing that last week even tickers with um, relative strength to the market and this is what I want to show you because we had telltales showing us what could have happened and basically they were giving it giving us hints of a possible turn down so basically we were able in one point where it came down to a point where we managed to buy it went up to a certain point which was resistance came down a little bit and then hit that resistance again and then went downside after that and that line that double top that's what we want to be able to identify now even when we have a situation where the market is weak and we have a situation like this when we believe we could go to the down uh, to the upside even if the market is pulling back a little bit we understand that as soon as the market gets a grip this line is going to break to the upside because of strength. However, if the market continues to move to move down, uh, people that were in the first and uh, the second attempt basically they lose faith and they start they start selling. Uh, this will happen, and you will see that you will have a candle touching the high. Sometimes we get another candle at the bottom like this. Sometimes it tries again. When it does that, it looks like usually like a cup and handle kind of thing. However, if it re rejects it and then moves down like this, well, it's no longer a cup and handle. And so we're moving down to the downside, back to the downside. On a very bullish day, it could be consolidation so what you're looking at is a, pos a uh, possibility where you know we're trying to get through and eventually it will however when we have weakness well it will not break through and this is why last week um, we had tickers telling us clearly that this was a double top and it's for us to identify that and I should have should have seen it closer up and it should have flashed to me in a proper way and i want to show you exactly where and the idea is always to make sure not to reproduce the uh, uh the mistakes so let's me let, let, let's meet on a real chart now this is the first example i was looking at the beginning of the day on sq which was bullish to me and and this is what happened right at the gate even before the bell it started rising see this green candle here it started rising obviously there was profit taken after that at the 200 ema that green line is 200 ema profit profit taking it came down to what to the pre-market support maybe a little under call that you know maybe even this line here is even proper came down to this line which was pre-market support bounce 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 and then it bounced on that one so even if market was tanking it's showing us strength making us believe that we will bounce and this is where we took the entry pre-market support even down even though it, it came down a little lower uh, on on before uh, the market opened it looked like we were um, in a safe position for more upside now 211 here uh, sorry 111 was the upside resistance and the entry was pretty good now 
let's move out of this and show you exactly what I want to share with you here. Now we came to a huge green candle after the entry. So a lot of people were buying up to what? To very defined clear double top. Now we saw this last week for a very good entry point for upside. Now this, if you flip your, your chart upside down, basically what we were teaching is, you know, comes to a point, goes up a little bit, comes to the same point, then it moves up. Now it's doing the exact same opposite. It goes down to a point, it rejects it, it goes down to the same, it goes back up to the same point, then it moves back down to uh, afterwards. Now this is on a day like what it was um, at when we alerted. It's a tough one because uh, supply looked like it could start rising at this point, but it didn't catch a grip. So basically you're looking at, you know, it starts dropping. And when you see that you're under your support, it goes to this support line and then there's very little support afterwards. So what's the good, uh, a, a good strategy in this particular case is what? Now, because we're looking at a plan where our plan was to cross 111 and it didn't, when, when it doesn't, well, the proper way would be to make sure that we stop out at our entry level, because this means that let's get back in, in a better position when we're in a better position. It was good. I mean, if you're good enough to take this and realize that on this candle it's not going to bounce any time any uh any higher on consolidation that's that's excellent um you know this is only a few seconds in a play maybe a few minutes but the safest exit is when you clear this low here and make sure well when you get close to it then you realize that you're going to get red well this is your out position Show you another example that is very clear, just like this one. 